We're the fairies, are we? No, I'm not. Are you any better? I'll get the blankets. Where are you going to sleep tonight? In the wheelhouse. Don't worry, these bunks are pretty comfortable if you organise yourself properly. Oh, no! I wish it had stopped. Oh, I'm going to be sick if I'm going to get a bucket oh, or something. Come on, honey, we're going to get you up on deck for some fresh air. I'm on too, let me help. It's the only thing that'll cure her. Me too. Yeah, but just keep well away from the sides. Let's see you offering to help Ferguson. That's not like you. I'll deal with you when we get back to Wentworth, Connors. With this feeling, we're not going back. You make me sick. Yes, I'm sick. I'm sick of you. Do you know what Slasher once said to me? He said, never trust scum that are too scared to laugh when they're happy or cry when they're sad. Yeah, my Slasher said that. He was a big, rough, tough, rowdy bugger. And he could smell an evil bastard ten miles away. Well, he's dead. And I'll never forget him. And I'll never forget what mongrel killed him, either. We've got a long night ahead of us. Well, that's the last of the search and rescue vessels in. We won't hear anything till the morning, and you both look as though you need a good night's rest. I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight for thinking of them. I know how you feel, but you must try. Well, thanks for being so understanding. It goes for me, too. I'll see you both in the morning, or I'll call you if I hear any news. OK. Nine. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I should thank you, too. Come on, you didn't need me to swim to that beach. Maybe not, but I wish I could tell you how I really felt when I realised you jumped in to save me. I mean, you... Hey, come on. Everything's fine. No, it's not. Look, I'm sure the governor, she'll be reasonable about it. It's all my fault. I was slacking. Oh, come on, you know it. Mrs Reynolds knows it. Everyone knows You're it. You're imagining things. No, I'm not. Well, I was slacking too. I shouldn't have been in that wheelhouse. Maybe we've both blown it. Come on. Just let me know if you need anything. I need to die. Five boats and only four bunks. I wonder who's going to sleep sitting up. I was uh, thinking of spending the night up in the wheelhouse to keep me company. You'll do no such thing. You wouldn't be pushing around one of my pals, would you? <laughs> She'll spend a month in solitary if she goes up there. I reckon it's a free world right now. Go for it, Roach. Waters. Go on, Roach. Don't you ever get sick of the sound of your own voice? She's doing you a favour. Now you've got a nice bunk to sleep in. I'm quite comfortable where I am. Please yourself. I think we should all try and get some sleep. Leave that on, Connors. Oh, don't tell me you're scared of the dark. The light stays on. You heard what Mick said about the batteries? Leave it! You are not in charge here anymore. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you halfway. That's that sorted out. I can wait, Connors. So can I. You all right? Yeah, just can't sleep. No. No can I. What do you reckon could have happened to him? It's not an escape plan. Not after Rita dragged Roach in the other day, it wouldn't make any sense. You yeah, suppose? But I mean, if they can't find the boat, it could have gone down. Mrs. Morris is certain they'll find them in the morning. What would she bloody know? They could all be dead. Oh, don't even think about it, Lexi. They'll be all right. Come on, darling, you need your sleep. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh. Ow! What's the matter? She kicked me! Who? She did, he did, well, it did, but whatever it bloody is, it kicked me. Baby. Yeah, it's the first time I felt it that strong. <laughs> She's just letting you know who's boss. It's all right, mate. Go back to sleep, eh? I've got the message. Why 
wide enough for you, Miss Ferguson. Everything all right down here? Yeah, having a real ball. Any sign of the Coast Guard or the police? Not yet, but we've drifted near land. You'd better come and have a look. Well, you just might be closer to Wentworth than we thought. Oh. Well, your little picnic's well and truly over, Waters. Don't get stuck into her. You lot amaze me, you really do. I'm going to say they throw the book at you. At the very least, you lose your ticket book. Look, you. Don't, don't waste your breath. The rest of you have had your last laugh for quite a while, too. It's going to take the governor about a month to read all these charges. Now get below and clean the sleeping quarters and report back here. Well, Connors, now that we know what we really think of one another, we're going to get along just fine. You gonna come and visit me? I might not have to. I wouldn't get too upset if I were you. We've drifted a lot further than I thought we had. There's land, all right. But we're a hell of a long way from civilization. He used to give me roses. I wish he could again. But that was on the outside And things were different then On the inside the sun still shines And the rain falls down But the sun and rain 